Hey everyone, Adam at Droid Media here, and today we're going over the top 10 things you can do with furniture pads. Furniture pads, also known as Fernie pads or sound blankets, are common in the filmmaking and video production industries, and for good reason. These things have a ton of uses on set, and today we're going to go over 10 of the ways that you can use furniture pads in your video production and filmmaking. Use them to dampen sounds. Clamp them up in front of flat walls or windows, or in between your subject and any unwanted noises. Black out your windows. Clamp one of these up in front of a window and block out all the light coming in. This is particularly useful for recreating nighttime shots indoors. Use as an actual furniture pad. If you've got a car door or some furniture you don't want to damage while you're out filming, let one of these blankets take the beating instead. Use as a seat cushion. Fold one of these up and use it as a seat cushion. This is particularly useful if your asshole cat steals your desk chair and you need some place to sit while you edit. Use as a camera dolly. Set your tripod and camera on a sound blanket and slowly drag across the floor to create a super lo-fi, but very effective, dolly move. Use as a photo background. Use one of these blankets as a background for your product photos or headshots. This works best when you can open your aperture and blur things out a bit though. Pad your gear. Smaller size sound blankets can be folded up and used for padding inside standard dairy crates. I've also used them inside my Pelican cases before. Use as a beanbag for low angle shots. Fold, roll, or crumble up one of your sound blankets and use in place of a sand or beanbag for your low angle shots. Use it like a regular blanket. It can get cold and lonely out there as a freelance filmmaker. Use one of these as an actual blanket to stay warm on those chilly nights. Use as a soft work surface. Tiny screws and or bolts can roll around and get lost while you're rigging up your camera or modifying some gear. Do your work on one of these blankets instead so all your pieces stay where you can see them. So there you have it folks, those are the top 10 ways that we like to use furniture pads in our filmmaking. What do you like to use them for? Did we leave any really cool ones out? Leave those in the comments section below, I'd love to hear from you. There's also a subscribe button down below if you'd like to click on it, I would love you forever. 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 Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you next time. One more time without spitting on the lens.